What if I told you that a country built on oil money is about to flip the script and become the world's next AI superpower? And they're willing to spend more money than most nations' entire GDP to make it happen. Saudi Arabia is making a bet so massive, it makes Silicon Valley look cautious. We're talking hundreds of billions of dollars. AI data centers rising from the desert deals with the biggest tech companies on the planet. But here's the thing. This isn't just about technology. This is about survival. And the clock is ticking. Let's rewind for a second. For decades, Saudi Arabia has been the guy at the party who everyone wants to know. Why? Oil. Black gold. The stuff that runs the world. But imagine you've been selling lemonade your whole life, and suddenly everyone's switching to iced tea. That's Saudi Arabia right now. The world is going electric. Solar panels are getting cheaper. Countries are signing climate deals. And the Saudis? They saw the writing on the wall years ago. Here's where it gets interesting. In 2016, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman announced something called Vision 2030. The goal? Transform Saudi Arabia from an oil-dependent economy into a diversified powerhouse. Think of it like this. You've been a one-hit wonder musician living off royalties. But the checks are getting smaller. So you pivot. Hard. You become a producer, start a record label, maybe even launch a streaming service. That's exactly what Saudi Arabia is doing. Except instead of music, they chose AI. And they're not messing around. Here's where things get wild. Saudi Arabia recently announced they're creating a fund worth $40 billion specifically for AI investments. $40 billion. To put that in perspective, that's more than the entire venture capital funding that went into AI startups globally in some years. It's the kind of money that makes even Sam Altman do a double take. But wait, there's more. They're building data centers in the desert that could rival anything in California or Texas. They're partnering with Google, Oracle, and Huawei. They're recruiting top AI researchers from around the world with salaries that would make your jaw drop. One source said they're offering packages that are two to three times what these researchers make in the US or Europe. Plus, zero income tax. Plus, luxury living. Plus, state-of-the-art facilities. It's like they're playing a video game on easy mode, except the game is building an AI empire. Now, you might be thinking, okay, they've got money, but so does California, so does China. What makes Saudi Arabia special? Here's the plot twist. AI needs two things more than anything else, computing power and energy. Lots and lots of energy. Training a single large language model can use as much electricity as a hundred homes use in an entire year. Running AI data centers? Even more. And guess who has some of the cheapest energy on the planet? You guessed it. Saudi Arabia can literally power AI operations for a fraction of what it costs in other countries. They're turning their oil wealth into cheap electricity, which powers the AI that will replace their need for oil. It's like using your old flip phone to order a new iPhone. The irony is beautiful. But here's where this story gets even more interesting. This isn't just about business. This is about power. Real geopolitical power. Right now, the AI race is dominated by the US and China. Everyone else is playing catch up. But Saudi Arabia is positioning itself as the third option, the neutral ground. The Switzerland of AI, if you will. They're building partnerships with everyone. Western companies, Chinese tech giants, European research institutions. They're not picking sides. They're creating their own side. Think about it. If you're a country 
that doesn't want to rely on American AI or Chinese AI? Where do you go? Saudi Arabia is betting you'll come to them. Now, I'd be lying if I said this was all smooth sailing. There are some serious questions here. First, can you really just buy your way into becoming an AI leader? Or does it require decades of tech culture, innovation ecosystems, and academic traditions that you can't fast track? It's like trying to become a great chef by buying the most expensive kitchen. Sure, it helps, but it doesn't guarantee you'll create a Michelin star restaurant. Second, brain drain is real. Can Saudi Arabia really convince the world's top AI talent to move there permanently? Or will they just be a temporary stop for people chasing big paychecks? Third, the regulatory environment. AI development raises massive ethical questions. Data privacy, surveillance, control. How will Saudi Arabia handle these issues in a way that keeps international partners comfortable? These are the cliffhangers nobody has answers to yet. So why should you care about what's happening in a desert halfway across the world? Because this could reshape everything. If Saudi Arabia succeeds, it changes the entire AI landscape. Competition increases, innovation accelerates, and maybe, just maybe, we avoid a world where AI is controlled by just two superpowers. But if they fail, it becomes a cautionary tale about how money alone can't buy technological leadership. Either way, we're watching history unfold in real time. And this isn't some far off dream. It's happening right now. They've already launched projects using AI for everything from smart cities to healthcare to entertainment. NeoM, their futuristic city project, is essentially being designed as an AI-first urban environment. They're using AI to optimize oil production, ironic, right? While simultaneously developing AI for renewable energy management. They're creating Arabic language AI models to ensure they're not just importing Western technology, but building solutions for their region. The machine is already running. Let's bring it all together. Saudi Arabia is taking its oil wealth and making the biggest pivot in modern economic history. They're pouring hundreds of billions into AI. They're using cheap energy as their competitive advantage. They're positioning themselves as a neutral third option in the global AI race. And they're doing it all with a deadline before oil becomes yesterday's news. It's ambitious, it's risky, and it's absolutely fascinating to watch. The question isn't whether Saudi Arabia will spend the money. They're already doing that. The real question is, will it work? Can a nation buy its way into technological supremacy? Or will this become the most expensive lesson in economics ever taught? We're going to find out within the next five to 10 years if you found this story as mind-blowing as I did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want more deep dives into the stories reshaping our world. And drop a comment below. Do you think Saudi Arabia's AI bet will pay off? Or is this going to be an expensive mistake? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.